Mr. Sagini gave the last half of my talk, so I'll be brief. Uh, he also told me if I went over three minutes, he would instruct me not to listen. Uh, I, I want to thank the uh, Hanpa Humanji Mission and all of those that nominated me. Truly, uh, I was flummoxed when I learned of this. I was also very proud that both my sons from the mainland, one from the Navy, and one from the Investment Council Service, were given time off fly out here sitting with my wife, also sitting at my table. Is... Dr. Richard Mando, whose father was a marathon runner, he's a marathon runner, and he invited me to join him in practice last year. Sitting at the table also is Kenny Moore, an Olympic marathoner. You probably saw him when he finished in Munich in 1976. We also wrote a feature article nearly 30 years ago uh, on the rules of the road, training with the Honolulu Marathon Clinic, published in Sports Illustrated, which literally gave us national attention. There have been a series of epiphanies in my life. One occurred in 1954 uh, when I became a camp counselor at a YMC camp named Wawianda on a lake of that same name in the Appalachian foothills near New York City. We took care of children ages 8 to 16, primarily from the inner city of Newark, Bayonne, Hoboken, and Seacoffs. These kids weren't necessarily poor, but they had attitudes. They were very difficult to handle, and I was given the toughest group. At night, when we had bumped them down, uh, we would then do other things, and during the day, we had to participate in activities, handicrafts, swimming, because I had been raised on a farm and done a lot of hunting, I became one of the two rifle range instructors next to a Korean War veteran Marine machine gun. And the kids would come, and after their class finished, and while we were addressing the rifles, uh, uh, inventorying the ammunition, we could fire off all the rounds we wanted. In the next six weeks, I achieved every NRA junior static award there was. <laughs> this was important because boys like riflery. And they challenged me to a shootout with the Marine. Well, since I didn't know how well I would do, I said, I'll do it backwards. I normally fight fire using my left eye. I said, I'll fire using my right eye. He fired. He went first and fired. 47 out of 50. For the only time in my life, I shot a perfect 50. And I became bullets and scat. <laughs> uh, because I had also been a fire reader. I said a fire reader in the circus because it sounded better than the seedy little dive called the ringside in Massillon, Ohio, but it paid my tuition. So during the switchover of, of kids, I would do the fire reading, and of course I had the reputation. So the end of the summer was coming, and there was going to be a large water carnival in a wooden crib built in a lake. The water was tan in color. And the, the chief counselor came up and said, Bullet, we want you to walk on water to uh, attract a larger crowd. And I said, but I can't walk on water. They said, we know you can't, but we'll give the kids a great laugh. So reluctantly, I agreed. And on that day, they had a crowd at least as big as this in the bleachers. I had on my best water walking robes. You've seen pictures of them in books. And uh, I walked off the one meter board into the dark tan colored water, sank to the bottom, stayed for 30 or 40 seconds to attract interest, came up sputtering, swam to the, 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 the ladder to get out. Some of my kids were there, some of the others. There wasn't a sound. They were crestfallen. As I started, it wasn't funny at all. I still get choked, I think. As I, and I started to climb up, they said, don't worry, Mr. Scaff. We know you can do it. <laughs> I realized I had intentionally achieved, deceived a group of people that believed in me. And until that day, I said, I would never, ever do that again, including the IRS. <laughs> and that has been, uh, I think, what got me here. And it's sort of interesting, you know, up for the first 96 years it was Jack the Lane. And the torch has passed. Now here I am. <laughs> and I truly 
actually do hope to be reincarnated. I'm very interested in this aspect, and I do hope to come back as Mrs. Gasling's husband. I, said I want to thank you very much, and in closing, I'll continue to do what I do the best, meeting on Sunday mornings with runners of all ages, and I would particularly like to thank those that nominated, who's particularly Norman Hirohatagoto, who was in our cardiac rehab program in the 1970s, and has since then has completed 28 Honolulu marathons and the annual Great Aloha Run all 26 times. No wonder in our cardiac rehab program, if you got in the program, you would say, you know, a heart attack is good for your health. <laughs> it is. And John Connor, a professor emeritus of literature at the University of Hawaii, and also a former Honolulu and Boston Marathon. So once again, and the 400 people that signed the petition, without my knowledge, I, I just can't believe it. So thank you all very, very much. And oh, about that walking on water, I'm leaving it for the professionals. <laughs>